We need to ban assault weapons and high-capacity magazines. And if we can't ban assault weapons, then we should raise the age to purchase them from 18 to 21. Strengthen background checks. Enact safe storage law and red flag laws. Repeal the immunity that protects gun manufacturers from liability. Unifying the country, welcome to Cross Country. The president and Democrats calling for tighter gun laws across the country and an even flat out ban on certain firearms. But the left won't stop there. This is what they're pushing in the mainstream media right now, reporting and arresting your fellow Americans for simply owning a certain type of gun. Watch. This weapon, you cannot hunt with it. You cannot go bird hunting with it. It is made to kill and destroy bodies. That's what it does. That's what it's for. Reporter men will put them in jail. That's what. We, you get a, you get a jail. The put in jail. I mean, that's just brilliant analysis. And while we've heard from the media and politicians, I took a trip to Hoboken, New Jersey, to ask you, everyday Americans, what you thought of the president's suggestions and what you thought should happen with our nation's gun laws. Take a look. Did you see the president's speech on guns the other day? Yes. How do you think he did? Did he strike the right tone, tenor? You don't Not think so? Not at all. Why? He's all wrong. He's completely wrong on this whole situation. What do you think it's going to take for us to get these shootings under control? What, what do you Fathers think? in the home, maybe? Mm. Maybe kids going to church? Maybe somebody teaching them social constructs? He said that we need to ban all AR-15s. I kind of agree with that. I kind of agree that AR-15 is kind of a bit much. It's a bit much. A standard handgun should be enough for anyone that needs to fight, for, for anyone to protect themselves and bear arms. Whenever you have a crazy guy going into a school with a machine gun and they are 15 and he's shooting, killing kids, you got to have some armed cops in there or you got to have some, some armed teachers. What do you think we should do? Well, I, I, it's confusing to me. I'm not sure. I think it's a complicated issue. I, my, I personally don't see a need for a military-style weapon on the street. What do you think it's going to take? to get this under control. I don't know what getting it under control looks like or w what that means. I own guns, I have a gun, and I've just never seen the amount of you know, panic and hysteria where it's every day. Who should have a gun? Uh, I think people are entitled to have a gun by a, the Second Amendment. I don't think they should have assault rifles. What do y'all think we should do when it comes to guns? I think everybody's now just jumping to conclusions about it. Um, I don't know what we could do. Maybe raise the age to purchase mental health screening. I'm not sure, honestly. You think the president is doing the right thing or the wrong thing when it comes to how he's addressing it? I don't think that getting emotional about it is the right thing to do. Um, but like I said, I sympathize with all the families. Um, I can't imagine what they're going through. But uh, I think everybody needs to take a deep breath. We need to try to put some rational laws in place to uh, fix this problem. And I don't think it's going to be a simple solution. I think we really got to think hard about it and um, try to get to the root of the issue instead of dealing with the symptoms. What do you think is going to take to stop all these killings? Well, we need background checks. Mentally ill people should not be able to go in and buy an assault rifle. There needs to be a ban on assault rifles. You That's say ban start. them in general when it comes Why to Why would any citizen need an assault rifle? Would you ever fire a gun yourself? Sure. Would you use a gun as a protection? Do you have a gun? No, no. <laughs> Why not? I have very severe arthritis, honestly. I have to use something to open jars, and I'm afraid I'll just hurt myself with it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.